This meeting is for NFO members only. No press or any written report of any kind should result from this meeting. This is Orrin Lee Staley, the national president of the NFO. The NFO faces its worst crisis that it's ever faced. Many times the members have said, tell us what you need and we'll help. You are going to get the facts. But with those facts, you either have to get results now or the NFO will die now. The NFO can go forward to great heights, must and will. But there is no possibility of that happening unless you respond to what I have to say the way I have to say it. Not long ago, we had our national convention in Kansas City. The delegates roared their endorsement of a statement that commercial family farmers must organize or die. They cheered the assertion that NFO and collective bargaining is the only hope. And they applauded the great progress that has been made toward achieving bargaining through the NFO's nationwide collection, dispatch, and delivery system. They set full speed ahead. They recognize, as every NFO member must recognize, that their organization cannot do this on credit, that it takes money, big money, every month, every week, and every day of the year to get the job done. We have come a long way in the construction of a collective bargaining program for agriculture. The foundations are laid. The walls are up. A system has been erected that can lift commodities hundreds and even thousands of miles to improve markets. Prices are being improved every day because of the effect of what the NFO is doing. But now we come to the crucial questions and the answers. The dues must be paid now. The NFO simply cannot exist unless those who have joined and made their commitments to pay their dues fulfill their commitments now. That's plain and to the point. The NFO's work cannot be carried on on promises to pay or expectancy to pay. It cannot exist on committed but unpaid dues. There's only one way to meet the bills right now. And I'm going to give you an example of our immediate bills. Legal fees that are due now, $95,671.89. Taxes that are due now, payroll taxes, $29,253.62. Telephone bills. $31,568.37. Interest on loans to, from members, $33,847. Printing, $14,004.54. County dues, 
$118,312. Professional help, $14,981.99. Office supplies and so forth, $76,993.38. This is a total of $415,000. $632.79, besides the, the one we're behind on the staff as an addition. You've always said, give us the facts. You're being instructed that every member, particularly those that are behind one and two years on their dues, must be contacted immediately. Friday and Saturday of this week. The money then will be brought in to the marketing area offices to be immediately brought forward to the national office. Farmers need an organization. We all agree on that. NFO is the kind of organization the farmers need and want. But it has to have money to operate. It has to pay its bills. This cannot be the effort or support of a handful of people, but it must be the support of everyone that hears this tape. Their money, and all oh, how little it seems with farmers with $100,000 and many times that investment, to be paying just a little amount for dues to do something that they cannot do for themselves or by themselves. And this is all over the country in all 48 states. NFO has not been perfect. It's been learning. It's been trying. But it's the organization that farmers must have, and the only organization that has really been fighting for farmers. Been out in the front fighting. But the NFO is you. It's not only Staley. It's not the staff. It's not the directors. It's you. We're taking great risks on giving this information. Companies will want their money Monday. This, although it's a big amount, is not big for this organization. If everybody will pay their dues now, every county leader is being instructed to be sure and contact every member it's behind on their dues to pay. You may have differed with what the NFO did at times. You may have not understood. The companies may have divided you from the organization in one way or another. But let's remember what we can do together. We can price our products. And some of you may say the prices are fine now. But look ahead. With low price grain, it means cheap hogs, cheap cattle, cheap milk. And then it will be too late to have the strength to do anything about it unless you pay your dues right now. This plea that I'm making for you to pay your dues now is not a plea for anybody to help themselves except you to help yourself. The burden of responsibility now is on you because I have told you the NFO can go forward in great strides and when you vitally need an organization, it will be there. But it can only do 
what you give it the strength to do. And that means paying your dues right now so that the organization can move forward and so that you can do something for yourself that you cannot do by yourself. The NFO is the farmer's only hope. The NFO is crying. The NFO is fighting for you. It's a type of organization that I know you want, but you cannot have and you cannot keep unless you pay your dues now. We have to have your dues Friday and Saturday of this week so the money can immediately come in to pay the bills and to pay the staff. I'm putting the future of the NFO in your hands because I've told you. And all I can say is you have to come through because if you don't, the NFO can't possibly survive. If you come through, and I'm sure you will, if you just stop and think about what happens if the NFO is not there, building and fighting, that means paying your dues right now. There's nothing more important than paying the dues that have to come in. Otherwise, the NFO would be gone and the NFO would not be there to give you the strength that is necessary for the commercial family farmers of this country to compete in today's economy. Hi, Joe. You remember me, Gene Potter from Sterling, Illinois? You and I both belong to the NFO. I feel that NFO is a great organization, and this is the reason for our visit. At this time, you should introduce your teammate as also an NFO member. Now, all of you who can have a copy of Oren Lee's message with you and a tape recorder and say to the man, I quote, I have something I would like you to hear. Then begin playing the tape. If you do not have a tape recorder, or if you do have a tape recorder after playing the tape, follow these steps. Number one, say to the man, we all agree that we need an organization because as individuals, we cannot affect big nationwide buyers, right? And two, NFO is the organization which you and I need to bargain for us nationwide, right? Three, we know we have made mistakes and we'll make more before we get the kind of contracts that you and I need. Four, 
we need your financial support while we're here. NFO cannot survive without your help. We would like your help by paying your dues today. Don't say another word until he pays his dues. Make sure that he is the one that breaks the silence. This is very important. If he objects and says he won't pay his dues, then you say this. I want to be sure I understand you. What you're telling me is that you want NFO to die. Is that right? Now you be quiet for a few seconds and then again ask him for his dues. This concludes the instructions for the contact team's approach. Instructions for contact teams to handle problems. Number one, each team carry a notebook with them. Two, any problem a member has which you cannot answer. A, write down his name, address, and telephone number. B, have the member write down the problem. If he won't, you write it down. C, if you can call someone in the county or marketing area that can answer his question, call from the member's home and get the answer. D, if you cannot get the answer by phone, then mail the written problem along with the member's name and address to Action Reply, National Farmers Organization, Corning, Iowa, 50841. E there will be a reply back to each member we receive a written problem from here in the home office. This concludes the instructions to contact teams for handling problems. We now have some questions that may be asked, and this is for your information in answering those questions. When does the lawsuit go to court? It will be the latter part of this year at the earliest. The judge has not yet set a time. It's such a large, involved case that it takes a great deal of time for both sides to prepare for trial. How long will it take before the lawsuit is settled? It's going to be a long time, in our opinion. Probably three to five years. Another question. Why is the staff back so far on pay? The answer to that is to ask each one to look at the list of back dues in his home county. Another question, when are we going to move gr grain that is on a bill of sale? The answer to that is contact the marketing area grain representative. If you do not receive satisfaction from him, contact the grain department in the home office. When can we get in a position to pay for grain more quickly? 
The Grain Department is now working on this problem, and it should be solved soon. How much was collected in the crisis drive? The answer to that is approximately 80% of the goal that was established at the beginning of the drive. This concludes the answers to questions that to some questions that might be asked. This also concludes this tape in its entirety.